Well, uh, I'm unique as the director of the Autism and Obsessive Compulsive Spectrum Program because I have uh, expertise in both autism spectrum disorders and in obsessive compulsive and related disorders, both in terms of understanding the underlying neurobiology of the conditions, uh, defining different clinical symptoms that characterize the conditions, and then uh, both administering state-of-the-art uh, treatments and developing breakthrough new treatments for these conditions. The Autism and Obsessive Compulsive Spectrum Program at Montefiore Medical Center um, is really unique. It's the only program in the country that uh, is interested in developing breakthrough new treatments for both obsessive compulsive and related conditions and for autism spectrum disorder as well. And what really sets it apart is by looking at the clinical symptoms and the underlying neurobiology or brain circuitry, we can develop new treatments that target repetitive thoughts and behaviors, whether they occur in obsessive compulsive or related conditions, or whether they occur in autism spectrum disorders as well. Well, obsessive compulsive disorder is characterized by obsessive thoughts or compulsive rituals or behaviors. And it turns out that in uh, autism spectrum disorder, every patient with autism has to have significant repetitive thoughts and behaviors. That's one of the two core symptom domains of autism. There are the social communication deficits that are widely understood, but the idea that uh, every patient with an autism spectrum disorder has narrow restricted interests or rigid routines or all kinds of uh, repetitive behaviors. You can't meet the criteria or be diagnosed with an autism spectrum disorder without having substantial repetitive behaviors. And it, it turns out that there are common mechanisms that drive these repetitive thoughts and behaviors in OCD and in ASD or autism spectrum disorders. Well, it, it's, it's important to understand that there are common mechanisms in OCD and in autism spectrum disorders. So there are uh, abnormalities in brain function. So an excess of excitation or a, de a deficit in uh, cortical inhibition that occur in both conditions so that there are intrusive thoughts and behaviors, for example, in autism and in OCD. There are common mechanisms as it relates to uh, neuroinflammation in both uh, obsessive compulsive disorder and autism spectrum disorder. And there are common treatments, both uh, medication treatments and also behavioral treatments uh, to target the disruptive behaviors, for example, or the obsessive thoughts or behaviors across the two conditions.